Hello and welcome back to I'm on your side tennis. Uh, today we're going to be working with a 4-5 adult tournament player on his forehand. And the goal of today's lesson will be to transform uh, his uh, traditional forehand into the modern forehand. So uh, let's go ahead and first start by taking a look at his uh, traditional forehand, which uh, is very fundamentally sound, uh, does a great job of <coughs> early preparation turning sideways and stepping into and then driving through the ball at contact. Um, he also does an excellent job of upper body rotation. Again, getting just about a uh, full 180 degree shoulder turn. Um, has to bring his back foot around in order to accomplish that. However, uh, you can see he's got good upper body and uh, hip rotation through the forehand. Um, so after seeing this, you may ask yourself, why would we change this forehand? Well, uh, a couple reasons for that. Uh, first and foremost, uh, the player's uh, most common error is to hit the ball long uh, due to um, insufficient topspin on the forehand. This student has also been uh, plagued by uh, left knee problems, and this is due largely to the fact that uh, with a closed stance, he's got that uh, left foot anchored on the ground and does a lot of uh, hip rotation and shoulder rotation about that axis um, and causes unnecessary strain on that knee. So uh, by switching to the modern forehand, which we'll talk about here in a second, uh, we're able to uh, alleviate that knee strain and um, prevent the student from having further knee problems. The modern forehand takes advantage of power loading from the ground up and the student's going to use a slightly open stance, uh, load up some power in the right leg and this power then is transferred up through the leg uh, into the hips and through the shoulder rotation uh, through impact. Uh, this is often referred to as the kinetic chain and this chain begins like I said from the ground up and power is transferred uh, through the legs, up through the hips, in the rotation of the hips and the rotation of the shoulders. The biggest difference between the traditional forehand and the modern forehand is where the power is derived from. On uh, the traditional forehand, it's more of a, a linear momentum based forehand. In other words, uh, the student will turn sideways and step and hit through the ball, uh, moving more side to side. Uh, whereas in the modern forehand, uh, it is uh, the power is built off of angular momentum and what the student's going to try to do is load up as much power from the ground up in that right leg with an open stance and then transfer that power up through the rotation of the hips and the shoulders but it happens more uh, spinning about an axis or rotating about an axis and on this uh, clip here you can see I've drawn a long rectangular box that sort of shows how the student moves from left to right through the modern, uh, the traditional forehand and on the modern forehand it's more as if um, he's exploding and coming up and out of a barrel uh, and spinning uh, inside the barrel. So um, what this allows the student to do uh, is the two things we talked about at the beginning of the lesson that is um, put more topspin on the ball because we're loading from the ground up um, and also alleviate the pressure on that left knee. You can see that as he makes contact and as all the rotation in the forehand is happening his left foot is actually off the ground so there's absolutely no strain on that left knee. A um, couple of ways this modern forehand has been described is as loading up power in that right leg and then exploding up and transferring that power um, into uh, hip and shoulder rotation. Another way to think about it is, and this is the way that James Blake uh, refers to it as, a sit and lift. Now let's go ahead and compare these two forehands on the same screen. Uh, first we'll do them side by side, uh, and you can see uh, quite a difference here. And I'm going to put them on top of one another, and finally let's superimpose the images. Um, and as you can see, this is the um, where you can see the biggest difference in the traditional versus the modern forehand. Uh, the closed stance versus the open stance. And also uh, look at how much more loading there is in the legs. Uh, his head in uh, the modern forehand is actually about uh, six to eight inches lower as he loads up the power in the right leg. And then it is uh, transformed through the ball. 
Uh, not a lot of the arm movement and upper body shoulder rotation has been changed in this forehand at all. Uh, it's mostly uh, in the leg loading and transferring of power uh, utilizing angular momentum as opposed to linear momentum. So. Uh, thanks for tuning in to I'm on Your Side Tennis. Again, if you'd like a video analysis lesson of your own, uh, please contact me at 630-430-9187. We'll see you next time.